What's up, friends? So I'm still at a photo shoot at a house, and I thought I would take a moment to do a businessy why you should pick a realtor who knows old and historic homes moment. But of course, I'm gonna be super awkward about it because that's my style. Uh, so hi, my name is Jamie Schmidt. I work for Red Barn Realty. I live in Michigan and I specialize in old and historic homes. Here are four reasons why you should pick someone who also specializes in old and historic homes. <clears throat> me. Let's do number one. The first reason is architecture. Do you need a degree in architecture or historic preservation? No. Would that be super awesome? Yes. However, self-education works. For example, when you have a listing that says, oh, look at this Victorian house. No, it's not Victorian. That's a Queen Anne. I need for you to know the difference. Or when they're like, oh, the beautiful staircase. That is a cantilevered staircase or flying staircase. People love when they know the fancy names of things. So that helps. Number two is the build materials and era. It's really important to be able to identify the differences between things like a fieldstone foundation and a block foundation or dimensional or regular nut lumber, regular walls or plaster walls. You know, things like single paned windows versus regular windows. Is that agent able to uh, educate and discuss, you know, how the fact that regular single paned windows that have storm windows have equal to and or uh, higher R value than the modern crap that you can put in houses? It's actually really important. Number three, is that agent able to advise you on things like materials, the color, Things like fixtures, all those things make a difference when you are either doing any type of renovations or you're preparing your house for a listing. If buyers walk into a house that's painted like weird coral pink in a house that's in the Victorian era, it's gonna make them feel subconsciously uncomfortable. That's why it's really important to make sure that you are neutralizing and utilizing great, even modern materials that fit the aesthetic that goes with the house. And for the final one, I came out here to sit next to Sam and Maria. Is, is that agent able to educate buyers and sellers on the importance of historical stewardship, as well as historic districts, and why those things are important? Even if you're not in a historic district, stewardship still applies to old and historic homes. What that means, because literally you're not just selling a property, you're actually selling the history, the ability to belong to history, and how those buyers and sellers all fit in that picture, it all has value.